kittens, it's Sugar, and I'm back with another planner video. So I went thrifting the other day, and I picked up this leather-bound Franklin Covey planner for $2.99 at Savers. So I picked this up for $2.99, and plus I had like their royalty thing, and it was a Monday, and so I got like another 10, 20% off or something like that. Now, what is interesting is this was originally in a garage sale, for a dollar <laughs> this is real leather and it's in it's in kind of a rougher condition i'm not going to lie it really needs to be cleaned up i haven't done anything with this yet so here's the inside it's all leather um lots of places for business cards a flap there's another flap back here um a ring card we've got these business card inserts there's uh, the page protectors, and then this guy right here, a little envelope. But what also came in all of this, two Franklin Covey phone and address things. For those of you that don't know, these, these run $10, $10, $15 by themselves, depending on where you get them. Keep an eye out for, you know, thrift stores and garage sales. Like, a lot of people are moving away from paper planning, interesting enough. So if you're really getting into it, you probably can find um, some of these really nice binders. Like, this is a really great binder, you know, for $3. I bought a Franklin Covey hole punch. I looked online, the daytimer hole punches were like 40 bucks, 40 to 60 bucks, and there was a lot of horrible reviews. The Franklin Covey almost is equally as bad. However, the eBay seller that I found was selling repurposed Franklin Covey hole punchers for $15 plus shipping. So I think I paid like $20 for this bad boy. I'm gonna see if I can put the eBay seller down below. Like I said, they are repurposed, so it's not coming in mint condition. It does the job, it doesn't need to be pretty, and it's functional, that's all that really matters, right? The Daytimer and the Franklin Covey rings uh, transfer back and forth. Not all of them do, because the Franklin Covey has seven rings versus some of the Filofax and all of those have uh, six rings. The last thing I wanted to show you is I went to the dollar store. Now this is where I get most of my stickers and all that kind of stuff. I came across these. Now we always see these in the dollar spot at Target. I don't like neon stuff. I like everything to be black and white, you know, very kind of baroque. I'm not interested in bright colors. And I bought three of these. They're a dollar a piece. It comes with po regular post-it notes and these kind of Baroque styled page flags. Mead stickers. And these are just seasonal stickers. Lisa Frank. This was the dollar store. I mean, these guys, which are so cute. Letters. And then these these like animals basically so I also get stickers at five below I just really really just keep an eye out downside to that is that if I pick something up it might not be there next time when I go back so you really gotta get it when you're getting it basically um, oh and I picked uh, these page markers up at the dollar store as well the last thing that I bought last night which matches my page flags were these big sticky notes and this is again that baroque pattern and these were three dollars a pad so that's this is a little bit on the higher end of what I'd like to spend when it comes to this kind of stuff but I really liked these and these were the last two that they had. So those are my planner and planner supplies. In the previous video, I walked through the planner and kind of how I'm currently using it. So I hope by me sharing this, this helps you out. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Alrighty, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.